When working with rational expressions, we want to be able to do all the basic arithmetic operations, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. In this video, we'll look at multiplication. To multiply rational expressions, we want to remember how to multiply fractions. So here's an example, 10 over 3 times 5 over 8. When we multiply two fractions, the rule is to multiply straight across both the numerator and denominator. So if I multiply straight across, I'm going to get 10 times 5, or 50, over 3 times 8, or 24. Then we would want to simplify the top and bottom. Uh, when we look at these two fractions, I can very quickly see that they are both even, so there's a 2 in common, so I'll take the 2 out. 2 divided into 50 is 25, divided into 24 is 12. 25 and 12 have no other common factor involved, so this would be the simplified result. Now, there is another way to do this, and it only works with multiplication, and that is when we have the initial problem, 10 over 3 times 5 over 8. We can also rewrite this by thinking about factors that are in common right from the get-go. So, so I don't mess up the original problem. I'm going to rewrite the problem here. And I'm going to think about what the numerator and denominator have in common. When we look at the 10, the 10 has nothing in common with 3. But remember, we're going to multiply everything straight across. So we can also look at what the 10 has in common with the 8. And because they're both even numbers, we can take a 2 into both. 2 into 10 would re result in a 5. 2 into 8 would result in a 4. Now, when we multiply straight across, we get 25, because of 5 times 5, over 3 times 4, which would be 12. So we get our simplified answer that way. Generally, when we're working with, forgot my F there, simplified, when we're working with rational expressions where there's variables involved, we don't want to have to multiply it out first and then simplify. We want to simplify first factor and simplify. That will create a much easier process instead of having to multiply out first. So that's what we're going to concentrate on is this second technique. 